My name is Grace Nasser. <laughs> I am seven years old. I love to ride my bike and go in the pool. I always like to be busy. It's hard to believe that less than a year ago, she was walking with a white cane and learning Braille. You growling. Grace was born with nystagmus, which is the shaking of the eyes. It would just vibrate a little bit, so it was very blurry all over. But the bigger problem was that the doctor was telling us that she had a degenerative retinal condition and that eventually she was going to lose a lot of her eyesight. We were thinking, was she going to have a normal life? Was she going to be independent? We enrolled her in a school for blind children. She was learning Braille and to use a cane. They taught us that Grace was going to be able to do everything that everyone else could do in life. It just would be a little bit different. When Grace was in kindergarten, I met a woman at a coffee shop who was a vision therapist, and she recommended Dr. Lingua. Hello, how are you? We had recently had success with an operation introduced by Dr. Robert Sinsky for nystagmus, and we we're perfecting it for its use in children to not only control unwanted eye movement, but to also optimize their vision. I showed her images of a patient whose eyes were shaking just like Grace's, and how now after the surgery, they were still. He didn't want to get our hopes up, but the results telling us that her retina was deteriorating could be wrong. The prior results could have been misinterpreted because of the eye movement. When he said that, I just immediately teared up and started crying and said, when can we do this? All the prior nystagmus surgeries would reposition the muscle on the eye, but the twitching muscles would still keep the eye moving. What makes this surgical approach innovative is that it removes the offending muscles so that they can't reattach to the eye. After the surgery, we were at dinner one night, and she just out of the blue looked at me and said, Mom, your head used to look like this. And now your head looks like this. And Daddy, I've never seen your eyes before. You have nice eyes. And then just went back to eating her dinner and we grab each other's hands and start crying and trying to hold it together. But we weren't relaxed yet. We were waiting for the repeat of all of those tests that we'd done before when they told us that she's losing her vision. Grace? Hi. And this time, the retinogram was normal. Dr. Lingua said, according to the test, she's not losing her vision. Telephone. And I said, are you sure? She could put down the cane. She would not have to learn Braille. And Grace could look forward to a life of normal vision. The dramatic change was amazing. The mountains and the leaves didn't look fuzzy anymore. It looked perfectly clear. Now I could just look out my window and there it is. How much better will she become? I don't know. But we expect her prognosis to be excellent. <laughs> I'm really grateful that at UC Irvine Health, they are really making great strides. If Grace had lost her vision, I know that she would be fine. But I don't have to wake up every morning thinking is today the day that she's going to lose her vision. I do not like them. Sam, I am. It's a blessing for me because I'm able to do something for children who've never had an opportunity to be improved in the past. They're changing people's lives, especially changing my little girl's life.